Let's get you up to speed now on the stories you need to know to start your morning. There is still no sign of the girl who was swept away by floodwaters in Tonto Basin last week. The search for six-year-old Willa Rawlings is now a recovery effort. Crews are using a special robotic buoy to search the waters near Roosevelt Lake. The device uses sonar to look for objects underwater. Then divers can check them out to see what they are. I'm Bianca Bono in the Alert Center. Uber releasing a first of its kind safety report, shedding light on crimes committed during rides over the past two years, most notably sexual abuse. According to the report, there were nearly 6,000 of those reports over the course of 2.3 billion rides, 464 of those reports involving rape. The report finds around 40% of sexual abuse reports are made by drivers. The company is now looking to add additional features to the app to make rides safer. The report says in 2017 and 2018, Uber banned 40,000 drivers. A fraternity at ASU has been shut down. The decision comes after the national chapter of Sigma Phi Epsilon launched an investigation. That investigation found ASU's SIGET chapter violated fraternity and university hazing policies. A university spokeswoman says the school supports the decision. And now you're up to speed. Don't forget, you can always find the latest news on our website, 12news.com, or the free 12 News app.